This is from JK in Canyon City. It is not okay that I have a total budget of only $360 to purchase all of my classroom supplies, lab equipment, lab materials, etc., for my science classroom that serves about 120 students. It's not okay that I am stuck with mid-20th century technology to teach my 21st century students and prepare them for their future. This is from TL in Denver. It is not okay that my third grade son with dyslexia has no intervention reading teacher this year because her position was eliminated in budget cuts last year. Due to the cuts next year, he will not receive intervention to help him read, plus he will be in a class of 34 kids with no teacher assistant. That's Denver. It's, you're not alone, it's all over the state. This is DS in Idaho Springs. Where do we cut? No buses, no Spanish, no French, no school nurse, no PE, no woodshop, class sizes approaching 30 in all required classes, or maybe no sports. These are the only choices left. That's Idaho Springs. In Lyman, MM in Lyman, it is not okay that my son will not get the classes he needs to pursue his lifelong goal just because he lives in a rural area and educational cuts will cut out advanced classes. There are kids all across the state that can't go to college, that can't take the courses necessary for them to go to college. This is from Douglas County. It is not okay that class sizes are increasing and basic classes like physical education are being cut. In Douglas County, the school district reduced the requirements for graduation because of budget cuts. It's not okay. And I think we, we had a number of people who said things like this, and this is what our leaders really need to pay attention to. It is not okay that my son will not have the same opportunities that I've had. He will not have a well-rounded education that includes music, the arts, adequate physical education, or athletic opportunities. My husband and I are actually considering moving out of this state. The dismal state of education makes us believe that our family's future is not in Colorado, despite the fact that we've called this state our home for over 37 years. It's not